Okay, uh, in this video you're going to learn how to create opacity or transparency to an image. Uh, you need to have the image first. So the folder that we have here is Test Color World and you have the new image that we have like the clouds right we have in this image. So they're that PNG. Once you have the image right there, then everything else is very simple. We back here in the editor right there and the simulator. There's nothing here in the bow seat in the bottom. There's no clouds or nothing. So we're just gonna need four lines of code and we have it right here. To make the videos, you know, more simple and more faster, because I know you don't want to spend 500 hours just to learn the same thing over and over and over again, uh, I'm just going to go this really, really quick. There we go. Because I I think that you already saw the, the previous videos that I have. So it will pretty much work the same. Okay, so the next part what I usually do, I don't know if you want to do it, but I find it like really, really nice. I just go like that to make my code like read really, really good. And then I just add clouds. No, like that. There. I just write something like that. So when I'm reading the code, I just look to this area and then I know what is happening. So in this part, I just go like that. So I think it's a like good idea I haven't seen somebody else do it like this but to me it works it was fine okay so now this is the part that you're gonna add clouds right there so right here what you have pretty much is one line of code that says local clouds then you give the name remember you give the name of the variable display new image you're just displaying the new image like we've been doing it before and that would be the clouds and you have that in your folder and then you place that image wherever you want it on the simulator, on the view, okay? This is to place the image on the X and the Y. And what makes the transparency is this line of code right here, okay? You have to write the name of your variable, the name that you give right here, class. If this call is George, you put this name George, then he will be George. If you put this class 24, class 24, you get it. So then you put that alpha. This is the, how would you say it, the property or the attribute or something. I don't really know all the names yet because I'm learning just like you. But uh, this is something that makes the image transparent. So I'm just put that line of code and click save. And then you have it right here. You can see it right there. So this, I'm just going to put nine and look what happened. See, they're not really transparent. If I put one, they're almost, almost going to be like invisible. Very good, right there. So I put three for this. I think it looks nice, but you can even put four. I think would nice four also would look nice. So just play with those numbers, and you can put one. Let me see, one, save. There you go. So pretty much there's no transparency at all. See, it's just the same as a normal image. And I put zero point. Four. Now the other thing that you want to notice, I have a hundred and four twenty. So if you change this to maybe two hundred, watch. Now the clouds are gonna be like I don't know if you can see the little line right there. So the clouds are gonna be somewhere in there. Watch. I'm just gonna go to one. There you go. You see the little line. So the clouds are up because of course uh, they are not supposed to be there. So four twenty and back to. 0.3 or 4. There you go. And I have it right there. So that's it. That's how you add transparency to an image by adding this line. The name of the variable, that alpha. This is the key, alpha. That equals to, and then you put the number of the opacity or transparency that you need. 